Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, I came back to Redmain Castle for one particular reason. This corpse right here has a level 5 somber smithing stone on it. Yeah, I did look this up on the wiki. Uh, sue me. However, that means that I did remember correctly. Because last episode I was thinking that there is a somber smithing stone here. Uh, but it was here, not in the main building. Still, this is good because I've never actually come back here after the Radom battle. Uh, and I don't know what happens to Slave Knight Gale. Whether he has any new dialogue after you do beat Radon. Oh, there he is. Let's see. He has cool armor. He's like a jester. But this is this is actually Slave Line Kill. Whether he got that or not, I'm not sure. I spammed him to death with magic. But it's okay. All right, nice guy. Nice guy. All right, but since he is the Slave Knight Gale Cologne, can we really be sure? I'm not 100% certain. Anyways, coming back here to the round table, round table told. Yeah, I came back to the round table told uh, for one thing and one thing only. Let me upgrade this bitch. Cool. Actually, I can upgrade the Rift Shield as well. I don't know how much it's worth upgrading the shields in this game. <coughs> I don't really do... Sh I mean, I have the shield, but I don't really use it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Sorry for skipping that dialogue. Anyways, we have one place to go. And that place is Fort Hate. Because we need to get to the crater. It's so good that they marked this. I think probably they realized that a lot of people missed this. Uh, I had to search around quite a lot as well on my first playthrough. Because it's like totally not clear that this happens afterwards. And I know that... I do know that I've not yet gone to the aqueduct. Sea of Free, or the Sea of Free River well either. Um, it doesn't matter what order you do this in, really. Uh, so I'll just get this one first. Because this does have the more important things. Again, I'm only here for the spirit ashes, really. The rest of it, yeah, there's the mimic theories here, of course, but... I think I'm gonna avoid using the mimic tier during this playthrough. Just because, you know, everybody and their mother uses the Mimic tier. For a reason, of course. Like, I'm not shitting on anyone who uses it. It's just... I tried it, uh, and to be fair, I did not upgrade it fully. But I wasn't super impressed. And I do know that in the last episode I said I would go to the... Was that gonna hurt? I know in the last episode I said we would go to the catacombs at the tutorial. I only decided to change my trajectory since this is here and this is pretty easy to do. And then we will have like basically what I want. I'm going for again that shield bandit skeleton ashes or whatever they're called. Uh, what the hell? Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, we're back. That wasn't as easy as I thought. I died on my horse with one of these stupid falls. Cat, I hate this mechanic with the horse of you having the double jump and being able to break your fall. But 
still dying. It's like either just just don't give us the double jump once we're past the point where we would die. Like I think that would be the the solution to this. But you can fall, you can break your momentum with the double jump and still end up dying. It makes no fucking sense. Oops. Yeah, so, anyways, this is Nocron. Not Noxtella. Oh, fuck. Did I not go this way? Because I don't remember these guys. As in there being like three of them in a gank. Dank gank. Oh yeah, we have rune arcs. That's a mechanic that exists. I've used one throughout this entire playthrough and... No, don't... Well, I mean... Huh. I guess you can't lock onto them until they get into this state. Not that it matters. I mean, these guys are apparently very weak to magic. Yeah, they are. Because... I don't think I had this easy of a time killing them. Last time around. And there is another somber smithing stone here, a level 5 one. I think it's dropped by a scarab, I specifically remember this. But we already got that. Advantage of using the somber smithing stone weapons is you don't have to collect multiples of a particular item. So I am wondering when we'll get to a point when I'll get to a point where I need to switch my staff, that's going to be the interesting part. Because right now, the Meteor Staff, again, it has awesome scaling. But it can't be upgraded, so I'm going to have to like watch out. And sort of figure out when we get to that stage. Oh, did you see the tracking? Okay. I guess the enemies are not the only ones that have busted tracking in this game. That makes me a little bit more forgiving. Because if I was that enemy, I would have been pissed by that, believe me. Unbelievable. This always happens where I'm like one point of damage away from being able to kill them with two spells always always yeah this is it right I mean I do again to reiterate I do really like this area uh, this is one of my favorite areas in the game visually it's awesome Love worth, it's pretty good. Yeah, these are the guys. I'm looking for the mashes that they have. This spell is so powerful. And this isn't even this isn't even my final form. Uh there is an even more advanced version, like the equivalent of fucking what you call it, soul spear. I just need to find the mashes though. Is it this one? No. Should they take this much damage? Oh man. This is why you boost up that magic defense, boys. Because you're gonna suck otherwise. Again, it's like here somewhere. And I'm always prepared to Google. I've literally done... I, I realized... I just realized... I have 
actually done zero crafting throughout this entire playthrough. I have not crafted a single item, which I think sort of demonstrates how crucial that mechanic is to success. Um, I think people have generally this opinion that there's an issue that crafting is sort of it can be ignored there it is great great shield soldier ashes this thing is pretty fucking good uh, and that's all I can say essentially these guys have fairly insane defense and that's the thing that makes it so usable because even some of the advanced bosses have trouble breaking through their defenses lower tier I'm unlikely to change my build honestly but it's good to have and you know what we've got the resources we're here we might as well take out the mimic tier it's like it's not gonna be much work it's gonna be a little bitch magic spammer which is what I am Whoa! I totally forgot these guys are here. Um, that took me off guard. Yeah, there's... What are these things called? Soldiers of Nox or whatever? Yeah, they're here. It's all good. Look at this placement. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't think he was that strong. And never mind. Man, do I have a solution to this. What? Did I pick... Why didn't I get the Stake of America? Strange. Oh well. Did I accidentally click on last side of grace? Is I that stupid? Where is the stake of Mark? I don't even see it. Get blasted, bitch. Get a rock slung. Told you I have a solution. It's easy money. God, this area looks so good. And I know what that place is now, because I looked it up. That's Mogwim Palace, which is a secret boss. I'll try doing that. I'll try doing Mogwim. I don't remember what exactly you need. I think you need to join that cult or something. There might be another way to get there. I'll have to look it up. Anyway, that's Mogwim Palace. Uh, contains a pretty challenging boss who I've not fought so again we're gonna try doing all that anyways we don't need this let's get going I am so curious and again you can cheat you can super cheat this thing, by the way, if I haven't mentioned this. Because... Uh, what you can do is, like, you can de-equip all your shit. And then re-equip it. It's gonna win. I am assuming he has infinite MP. Judging by how this game likes to play. Oh! That's like me. He's too stupid to repause though. Oh, you're so screwed. That should have been a backstab.
Of course he has fucking cheating ass infinite MP. Stupid. Can't parry that, can you? Yeah, your shit is empty. This is actually fairly entertaining as a battle. Um, the previous version was kind of annoying on the last playthrough. I was using fucking the bleed weapon and man was he making use of that. And it kind of drove me insane. I got bled like seven times throughout that battle. Alright, easy money. That's the Mimic tier. Cool. So what I'm gonna do is, we'll leave Nox Stella, uh, I mean, I mean Nokron, cause... You can always come back here later. Uh, round table hold though. That's more like it. And I totally forgot to use up the Baldachin's Blessing or whatever it's called. Hell yeah. Oh, what's his name is here? Dung Eater. Yeah, yeah, I know Dung Eater. Screw him. I'm not even gonna go. Uh, there we go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Do I only have... Shit. Grave Glo I don't have level 4. Damn. All right. Cool then. So what we can do is get these back up. I heard, by the way, there's a there's an Ash called Banished Knight. Someone. I heard it's really powerful. Uh, that uses that Ghost Glove worth or whatever. And it might be something that's worth exploring yeah you don't get I mean that's 3k that's cheap I'm gonna get that why not that's so cheap now at this point 3k hell yeah I'm gonna get, use one of these and then level up Mm, yeah, int. Gonna get to 35, I think. Alright, let's actually go back to the tutorial area now. So, this is it. Apparently, there's a dungeon here. Not just any dungeon. A fucked up dungeon, from what I've heard. And I'm fully prepared for any annoyance, including the ground being poisoned. Uh, I was not expecting this out of all the possibilities. Oh fuck, there it is. God damn it. That's the one. So, I didn't really show slash encounter such a dungeon uh, in my first playthrough, but some of them have one of these. A failed executioner chariot clone and apparently I did not rest. Is that the wrong one? And these executioner it is. Chariot clones are super super goddamn annoying. And apparently they need like 
you can only kill them in special ways and it's just a whole mess um, apparently you can glitch them somehow are you fucking it still builds up <sighs> hopefully I'm safe here yeah I am are you oh the turn cheap Yeah, this is the fringe folk hero's grave. Man, I wish I crafted some poison shit. And of course there's enemies here. The only reason I'm not too worried about this place is that I think I'm fairly OP. Uh, like... I think you're meant to come here a little bit earlier. Oh yeah? I said oh yeah, but that was super unimpressive. I do not know if you can kill these things with magic though, these chariots. No, because you can't lock on to them. No, don't, don't go out. So yeah, again, this is the big mechanic for this place. And where, wherever you see tracks and shit, uh, this thing can go. I don't know if there's one of them or multiple of them like floating around. Oh, there's one. Uh oh. Yeah, this is like, again, executioner chariot mechanic taken to the extreme. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna bet you if you try to get this item, you're screwed. I'm screwed anyways. Go! <sighs> that was super cool. No, the poi- I totally forgot I was poisoned. Uh, yeah. Not, they, they put that poison there on purpose, I swear. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I still di nearly didn't make it. Um, I guess you have to wait for it to come down and that's when you sprint across. But even here, it turns around in such a short angle that I'm not so sure. Listen. Oh fuck, no. They're gonna start like blocking off paths. It's a dick move. Okay, it can't get in here. By the way, I realized, um, which is completely stupid of me, that I do not actually have the recipe to make uh, the poison antidote. <laughs> I was, that's what I was hoping to happen. Which is really bad, by the way. That's It's not a good thing. Thought I could craft some, but nah. All right. Oh, fuck off. I was gonna say, I hope there is at least a side of grace here, uh, and there isn't. There's a stake of Marika. Shit. Wonderful. Great. I hate this boss. This is that boss that's based on the um, the Puss of Man from Dark Souls 3. And the Puss of Man is my least favorite enemy in Dark Souls. So to have an entire boss based off of it is not, not a good thing. And this is why I hate it. This is why I hate the Puss of Man. And this is why I hate this thing. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I couldn't see anything. This is... People who were shitting on me during my review. Or I guess the the issue that people had the least like, problem with that I brought up is the camera. And I think this is primo example. Like, the camera of this game, the camera system, just cannot handle these, like... 
erratic movement enemies placed into tiny ass arenas like who thought this is a good idea I mean look at this I mean look at this like Thank you. My only hope is the... Is the fucking... Um, rock sling. I mean, there, I fought one of these things on Mount Gelmir and... Like... This is so frustrating. I don't know what's happening. And I know these guys are hated. Uh, I do know that. Uh, this is one of the most hated bosses, I think, in this game in general. Come on, Rock Sling. Like. If I could tell you how I'm avoiding these attacks, I would, but I genuinely don't know. That was one of the shittiest bosses. Um, there it is! Banish Knight Oleg. I think he's the one. Jesus, that was horrible. Uh, we did get a golden seed out of it, though, which is very helpful. Um, I'm probably never going to do this again. Uh, that was... The dungeon was okay, I do like the mechanic, but man, this boss sucks. He's better on the field. Uh, again, I fought one on Mount Gelmir, and he's okay on a horse and with a huge arena and all that. I don't know why this game is so obsessed with putting these large field bosses into these tiny-ass dungeon boss rooms. They did the same thing with the Magma Worm. Uh, it's the exact same situation. Like. That boss is clearly designed to be, or the Falling Star Beast too, is clearly designed to be a field boss, and they just put it into a tiny arena. Alright, Oleg. I'm gonna try Oleg. I mean, I can't really upgrade him much, but whatever. Yeah, I think, I think with that... I have quite a bit to cut out, and that's the difficult thing always with measuring the time for this episode. I can add the charge, though, which I'm going to do. Oh, I'm almost there. Let's get another level, but I think with that, I am slowly going to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here. This has to be enough. Please tell me this is enough. Yes. Uh, yeah, like get that sweet 35. Our next destination is gonna be the Altus Plateau, I think. The time has come. We'll get to the Altus Plateau, we'll progress with the actual game. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Altus Plateau has a lot of good stuff, so we should be good on that front. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring, the Sorcerer Run. If you did, as always, make sure to give this a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.